Bobby Ocampo, can you still reverse a high microalbumin creatinine ratio of greater than 30? Of course you can. Great question, Bobby. And it's one of the key indicators of cardiovascular inflammation. If you're not aware of that, you don't know what it is. It's what really kills you. It's the smoke that comes up from your arteries. It's the burning of your arteries. And how do we test for that? We look at albumin, how much albumin you spill through the filters of your kidney, the microalbumin creatinine test. 30 is considered to be the limit by the labs, but for men, it's three to five. For women, it's 13 to 17. Anything that high or greater, you have to start worrying about that lining. Why is that? Well, that lining, the intima layer, is the filter membrane of each of the million filters in each kidney that you have. And so if you're spilling protein through that intima, that filter of the kidney into your urine, guess what? It's also pretty clear that you're spilling LDL, small dense LDL, out of your bloodstream and into your artery wall where it gets stuck. That's why it's so important. And Bobby, of course, you know, any of these things we can and do reverse on a regular basis. And yes, lifestyle is at least 10 times more important than any medication. If you want to get evidence for that, you know, that sounds like just, you know, me voicing an opinion. No, there's evidence on that. New England Journal about a little over five years ago, maybe close to 10 now, they did a very, very simple comparison, very, very simple lifestyle coaching versus metformin. The coaching was three times more effective than the metformin. And this was easy lifestyle. This was like walking a couple of times a week and some stuff like that.